Coming in at number 10, we have Best Gore. This was a site that was popular when I was a kid, and it would be something that you would hear people talk about like an urban legend. It would be this fabled thing that some kid had seen or claimed they had seen. Some people said they looked at it and then they puked after. Some people would say that their parents banned them from using the computer after checking out this website. But Best Gore is exactly what it sounds like. It was videos and pictures of some of the most horrifying gore that has ever been uploaded to the internet. This is something that I highly recommend you stay away from because once you see these images, it's nearly impossible to scrub them from your mind. You might think that you have the stomach for something like this, but the brutality displayed on this site is no joke. These videos are real and trust me, they're nothing like the movies. Getting a little bit more serious at number 9, we have the death clock. So I don't care what kind of voodoo stuff some of you may believe in, but I refuse to believe that a computer generated random response death clock can accurately predict the date of my death. You know what? I don't even want to know the date of my death, even if it is accurate. Like, what am I actually gonna do with that information? Nonetheless, the website Death Clock claims to be able to accurately predict the date that you're going to die. Now, whilst I'm sure that the predictions are totally on point, you can choose between various options for your prediction. You can choose optimistic, sadistic, pessimistic. I would recommend not picking sadistic if you do find yourself on this website, as you really shouldn't put that kind of thing on yourself. Just don't visit it. Don't do it. In at number 8, we have the Magic 8 Ball. So a lot like the death clock, the Magic 8 Ball pretends to be able to guide your life. So it's basically a lot like those 8 balls that you get in life, which you give a good shake and ask a question like, does he like me? And the ball gives you a whole load of sass. For example, sources say no, and all of your dreams are literally crushed. You shake again, and you get a completely different answer. So Ask 8 Ball Net is a lot like that, but a website. So you type in your question, hit enter, and it gives you the usual sassy 8 ball answer. It claims to be able to make your decisions easier, but if you need an 8 ball to make your decisions, you also need to check yourself. Also, it can get very, very creepy. For example, I asked if he knows where I live, and it said, it is certain. This next website also definitely knows where you live, and is sending someone to find you. Another little warning guys, we're done with borderline acceptable stuff, get ready for like the seriously creepy, freaky, sick, and vile stuff. In at number 7, we have Take This Lollipop. The website Take This Lollipop dares you to take a shiny blue, and I'm guessing raspberry flavoured lollipop, which obviously you do because lolly. But by taking the lollipop, you share your Facebook details with the site. You're then greeted with a really creepy corridor, followed by an even creepier guy browsing your Facebook photo and messages. He's very sweaty for some reason or another, his fingers are kind of gross, and he seems to be getting a sick, tortured pleasure from creeping you. He then gets up and gets in his car, presumably to find you and creep you in real life. Ah. The video then ends with a red lollipop with a razor in it. Now the whole thing is actually a propaganda film by Jason Zarda, who wanted to warn people of the perilous results of sharing too much detail on the internet. I feel you, Jason. Oh, really gross at number six. We have Rotten.com. So Rotten.com appeals to those with a morbid sense of curiosity. The site reads: the soft white underbelly of the net, eviscerated for all to see. Rotten.com collects images and information from many sources to present the viewer with a true unpleasant experience. For example, you can browse pictures of dismemberment, severed hands, knife fights, disembowelment. It all gets pretty gross and categorically is not safe for work slash life in general. Why would you want to look at that stuff? Does it get worse? Unfortunately, yes. In at number 5, we have RateMyPoo.com. Ah! Okay, because I have to make this video, I had to go on some of these websites to tell you that you had to not go on them, and unfortunately, this is one that I really wish I had never seen. I'm not sure I'm ever going to forget it. Rate MyPoo.com is a website where you can literally do just that. Rate other people's poos and get them to rate yours. Basically, you take a picture of it, upload it, people can give it a score of 1 out of 10, and then you can do the same with other people's. Blah. So this both scares and confuses me, but I'm concerned that I know a few people who would actually really enjoy this site. Sick, sick, sick people. Oh, speaking of sick, I really actually now want to vomit, but I won't because I bet there's a website called Rate My Vomit and I just don't want to be on it. In at number 4, we have 4chan. So 4chan is generally a much darker and more anonymous version of Reddit. It isn't illegal per se, but it does get pretty dark and I would absolutely recommend 
recommend that you steer well clear of it. On 4chan, anything goes, which is kind of the problem. You literally don't know what you're going to find. Someone may be leading a group of idiots into microwaving their new iPhones, whilst another will be posting a picture of a freshly murdered body. Which is exactly what happened when a nut in Washington posted a picture of a woman he strangled in November 2015. So you don't actually need to go on there to see and do bad things, not all 4chan users are the devil, but unfortunately the anonymity of the site has allowed for nude celebrity picture leaks, child porn, animal abuse, threats of violence and cyberbullying. I for one would not want to be associated with a site that allows that to happen. In at number 3 we have Silk Road. So to be honest you'll probably never find yourself here and if you did you would have to want to find it a lot. It's actually very very difficult to come across. Silk Road is a dark web website that allows you to buy and sell drugs as well as, if the allegations are true, hire hitmen to kill people on your behalf. The initial Silk Road which labelled itself as an anonymous marketplace was created by William Albrecht and was run on Tor hidden services so users could browse anonymously. The FBI later seized the site and Silk Road 2.0 was created and then shut down again. So there is still a Silk Road but our advice would be do not try to find it. Next up, something that you really really never want to see, in at number 2 we have bluewaffle.net. Want to see a picture of an infected gangrenous looking moist lady part? No, I thought not. Probably then don't visit bluewaffle.net. So what is the vilest of all of the websites that you should never visit? Guess it's kind of hard to pick, but this next one really made me the saddest. In at number 1, I'm sad to say this exists, it's reddit.com slash watch people die. So this is totally sick and what is worrying is that there are over 120,000 subscribed readers to this subreddit. Here is a place that users come to find video footage of people as they die. The number one rule of the subreddit is, I quote, there must be a person, not an animal, actually dying in the link. Pretty self explanatory. Moderators can and will remove posts at their own discretion if it's apparent that no one died in your submission. So, one example of a post here is a man who was crushed in a scooter accident, his beating heart can be seen. What's also extremely disturbing is that you can also post requests as to the type of death you would like to see next. And number 10 is not for you. We have Geordie.org. Um, so what the actual frog is going on here? This website is a seizure in a bowl or web page I guess. It kind of looks like we tapped into the matrix mainframe and honestly I want to get out. It's flashing, it's big, it's bold, I don't know what this means nor do I want to. Next up we have a subreddit and it's a miss- Coming in at number 9 we have Ripless Natas. Ok let's move away from something that will curse you emotionally and onto something that will curse you spiritually. Ripless Natas is apparently a site that is haunted by the ghost of a girl who has the same name. The story goes that this girl was murdered in the 1800s because it was suspected that she was the child of the devil himself. She then possessed someone in this day and age so she could get them to make something that would make sure her memory would live on. And that was a creepy website. Now her spirit lives in this domain. But that's not all that it does. This website can also be used as a tool for revenge. Oh, now it's getting good. If you visit this website at the stroke of midnight, then there will be the option to type a person's name and the ghost of this little devil girl will fly out and take care of whoever you want revenge on. But like most black magic this comes at a cost. In exchange for taking out your competition she will invade your dreams every night until you die. So you're basically trading every good night's sleep ever for the rest of your life for sweet sweet revenge. You must really dislike this person. Coming in at number 8 we have whiteenamel.com. A somewhat interactive horror game that seems to tell the story of what's going on in a creepy mental asylum that has been abandoned. You do a tour around this place and although there isn't any real story, the whole experience is creepy in presentation and will make you want to shut it off as soon as you start playing it. And the developer of this game really went out of their way to make sure that every inch of this thing was as creepy as possible. They decided that the loading screen of this game would be needles that poke into your skin, which makes you feel like you're being locked away in an insane asylum against your will as someone sedates you, which sounds like the most terrifying scenario of all time. Coming in at number 7 we have Death Date. This website does exactly what it sounds like. It tells you when you're going to die based on putting in a little bit of information into it. Now while this is for sure a gimmick that was thrown on the web to scare people like a good creepy pasta, there have been plenty of rumors surrounding this website and I'm here to run through some of them with you. Some people say that this website is actually using the small amount of data that you put in to sell to companies so they better know how to market to you. The website asks you some personal questions like 
like what kind of stimulants you like to use and it's suspected that this information is sold to pharmaceutical companies. Other people think that there's some sort of curse attached to this website that makes the death date that pops up a hard and fast rule. Could you imagine you speed track your own death by putting your information into some stupid website? That would suck. I am not down at all. Coming in at number six, we have divine intervention. Okay, this one isn't as spooky as the previous ones, but it will definitely ruffle some feathers and is kind of offensive just for the sake of being offensive. Mind you, some of this stuff is absolutely hilarious. Divine Intervention is a site that specializes in sex toys. Okay, that's not that impressive. There's a lot of websites that want to give you the tools to make sure that your privates are pleased. So what makes this one so cursed? Well, Divine Intervention specializes in sex toys that are themed around holy symbols. Do you want a dildo that's in the shape of Jesus Christ? Well, they got that for you. Do you want some lube that has been blessed? Well, you better believe that's on the docket as well. Now, other than just being offensive to religious people, if there is a heaven, you better believe that St. Peter is going to bring this up when you're being judged at the pearly gates. Yeah, you're going to go straight to hell for this one. Coming in at number five, we have house creep. Do you want to know where the closest murder to your home is? Or are you a normal person? House creep lets you know all about the spooky homes that are close to yours. There's a wide range of places you can check out in your neighborhood that have something weird going on with them. Do you want to know which houses in your neighborhood are haunted? Check it out on house creep, baby. Do you want to know which house in your area recently had a murder in them? Well, house creep will give you the full lowdown. I mean, outside of being something that will make you not want to hang out at your neighbor's place, it's actually a great tool for people who are house hunting and want to find out if something terrible has happened in the home that they're looking at before they buy it. But I think this site is mostly used by people who are stimulated by creepy information. Coming in at number four, we have the fifth nail. This is a rabbit hole you could start going down that might never end. I wouldn't want to get too deep into this because it would start with the fifth nail and the next thing you know I'm sitting on the couch watching murder docs until I forget how to walk. So for those of you who don't know, the fifth nail is a blog that is inadvertently written by serial killer Joseph E. Duncan. This guy is sitting in prison waiting for his death sentence to be played out but in the meantime he's been sending letters to a blogger to keep updating a blog about his thoughts. Now there is no proof as to whether or not this is actually Duncan writing these posts or if it's just someone trying to capitalize on a serial killer's psychotic infamy. But if it is Duncan, the mind of a serial killer can be a very strange place to get lost in and even though the posts are limited, I don't think it would be a healthy exercise to start investigating how these people operate unless you're going to try and stop them like Batman. If that's your motivation, then more power to you. Coming in at number three, we have Rotten.com, something that is very similar to Best Gore but ventures into every area of horrible imagery. There are complete breakdowns of how dogs poop, what poop looks like, where you can find more poop. There are photoshopped pictures of people drinking urine. There are real pictures of people drinking urine. Dead bodies. There are pictures that show the long term effects of drug use and what people look like after they've been hit by lightning. Basically, they have every best gore post plus a bunch of other bizarre things that make you wonder how on earth this stuff gets found. I mean, some of it isn't even gross. It's just strange. But that's the worst part about this website. You might get lulled into a false sense of security. You'll be reading something about dog poop and then the next thing you click on is a picture of someone with their hand cut off. Alright, coming in at number two, we have a Ouija board. For anyone who has been checking out my content for a little while, you will know that I don't mess around with Ouija boards. In fact, I didn't even go to this website to see how cursed it was. I just read about it and apparently the site is haunted by a dark spirit. Some other people say that everyone who has ever died has access to this site. I wonder what kind of Wi-Fi there is in the afterlife. But when you ask this Ouija board a question, it will respond with some pretty creepy answers. So if you are tired of bringing dark energy into your life with the old fashioned store bought Ouija board, then use this digital version so you can invite some horrors into your life that know how to use Facebook. And finally, the number one spot is Last Words, a page that is truly heartbreaking. This page is cursed in the sense that it will weigh heavy on your heart. Last Words is a government website that gives you a breakdown of each person's last words before they were executed on death row. It tells you their name, the crime they committed, and every last thing they said before lethal injection. You go into this knowing that people are sent to death row for a good reason. Unless the legal system was wrong and convicted the wrong person, which does happen sometimes. But reading what people have to say right before they know they're going to die is hard to get through. Several of them are apologies to families that they hurt and whether or not they really mean those words, they're still moving. And then it makes you think about the families that lost everything because of this person. The whole thing puts you in a mental state that will make it hard to get a good night's sleep. In at number 10, we have the world. 
worstwebsiteever.com. I mean, that's what it says on the tin. Warning, do not visit this website if you like nice, smooth, user-friendly, slickly designed websites, or if you're epileptic. The world's worst website ever is a pre-millennial looking nightmare. Ever wondered what websites look like before we figured out the internet? I would say check this out, but really, just save yourself. Don't. It's kind of horrible. So there's whimsically scrolling text, colour words on retina burning backgrounds, clip art, rudimentary gifs, and many flashing images. Although I have to say, in my opinion, they could have gone further with a mouse that trailed stars or hearts as you moved it. Anyone remember those? Great. Good times. Three coming in at number nine. We have, bear with me, F04CB41F154DB2F05A4A. Got that? So this is a mysterious sub Reddit written in Unix timestamp. I don't even know what that means, I had to Google it. So this subreddit is some kind of code, and some people have cracked a few posts. Those that have been cracked tend to say things like, no one can survive and all will die. Good. Great. Glad we cleared that up. Let's get the long names out of the way, shall we? Okay, coming in at number eight, we have 973-eht-namu-973.com. Oh, 973-namu-973.com. An absolute fave of mine. What an absolute banger. Said no one, ever. It's weird. This website is reportedly the work of a madman, an insane mathematician to be precise. At first, you're presented with numbers in some kind of pattern. The further into this site you get, the more the plot thickens and the more eerie it all gets. Artwork starts popping up and it's good, but it kind of makes my soul feel cold and detached. You'll also be treated to some sentences such as remembered and dismembered. All in all, the best way to die. I don't know about that. I think respectfully decline the remembering and dismembering. <laughs> yep, gonna be firmly giving this one a miss for now on, so you should do the same. This next one is actually a YouTube channel that you shouldn't visit. At number seven, we have Web Driver Torso. So, where to start? Web Driver Torso is a YouTube channel with 18 and a half million views and over 100,000 subscribers. I'm sure that each of the people who viewed their videos can't actually tell you what going on with them. The videos are comprised of shapes and sounds which are usually very piercing. These guys haven't uploaded in six months, but their channel is still very much there, although please don't visit it, it's weird. It's probably a trap or a trick or both. Some people are saying it's a test channel from YouTube, but I don't know, there's something very very sinister going on here. Coming in at number six, we have Hecate Station. Like with a lot of websites on this list, I have no idea what's actually going on with this website other than it's mysterious and seems oddly sinister and I'm not sure if it's going to give my computer a virus. When you load up this page, you're confronted with three triangles. Clicking on one will lead you down a different path, some of which will lead you to a puzzle, other will give you clues to a password. You then stumble across password protected pages that are PDFs and I don't know, it's creepy. Creepier still, coming in at number five, we have nobodyishere.com. This is baffling to me but I think think I actually kind of like it, but no, I, I have no idea what's going on whatsoever. Nobody'sHere.com is an existential crisis summed up on a web page. You're greeted with a man sitting at his laptop. If you turn your sound on and scroll up and down the words on the right, you'll see what he has to say. If you scroll really fast, he keeps typing and it's all very nonsensical but great. It's kind of like a stream of consciousness. I think I'm into it. You can also chat with a bot. And and look at a bug forum because why not? Like I said, I've got no idea what's going on and it probably will mess with your mind, but if you're into that, then go get it. Coming in at number four, we have whiteenamel.com. White Enamel seems to be some kind of horrifying online gaming interactive movie or something. When the site launches, you're overlooking a town. You can see parts of it and there seems to be a sprawling mental asylum with scary sounds and scary rooms. Also, the page loading screens and needles that kind of like stab fluid into you. It's like we the viewer are being injected and I don't like that, no sir. Coming in at number three, we have fallingfalling.com. Ever had that sinking feeling? Well, you must be on fallingfalling.com where you're forever falling into some kind of color warping rabbit hole. The sound too, jeez, the sound. It's very, very disturbing and I feel like it really gets me in the back of my neck, like the top vertebrae. It's just like, and when does it end? It never ends, we're falling forever. 
Coming in at number two, we have Possession Begins. Okay, I have to admit, this terrified me. I went on this website after stumbling across the link on a forum, and it's pretty weird and unsettling. You get there, and the site tells you to plug in earphones and close your eyes. The site then uses your camera to tell when your eyes are physically open or closed, which is very, very, very creepy. Creepier still, you hear a voice in your ear that will prompt you when to close and open your eyes, which, nope. No thanks. You see all kinds of weird stuff, like a fly lying on its back dying and church window planes, which are mysterious and totally horrifying. Just don't go there. Trust me. Okay, so let's end this absolute nope of a list with a happy but mysterious, but actually maybe a tiny bit sinister website that you shouldn't visit. We have at number one, omfgdogs.com. OMFG, dogs. It sounds like my brain process when I go for a walk in the park. I'm like, Dogs. Maybe don't visit this website if you want to remain a dog lover though, because I feel like it will subliminally turn you against them. That, or you'll end up admitting that they are the true overlords, which is something I've been thinking about for a while. If you do visit omfgdogs.com, be prepared for retina burning rainbows, cartoon dogs running, video game music, and an endless stream of OMG. It's actually kind of hypnotizing, and if you try and read the background, it will either send you cross-eyed or make you physically sick. You also lose your mouse among all the pooches and it's just a lot. It's very, very, very a lot.